I'm gonna drink more water, I'm gonna find a non-cheat. Is that gonna be straight or what? Look at the state of it. I talk today and this chair's being squeaky. Kinda went off tangent there, didn't I? Got into a cheesecake. I'm on a squeaky chair again. Yes people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope we're all doing well as always. I hope we're all looking after ourselves. Um, I'm gonna start on a bad note. What is this weather doing? Oh my God, it is mid-August. I'm in a hoodie. It's raining. Well, it's not raining now, but it's raining all week. And it's blowing an absolute gale. Let me just show you. Can you see? Mid-August, right, and it's like this. So, I'll get the moan out of the way first, but it's, it's annoying me. Where's the sun? Where's the summer? Summer's nearly over. So, that moan's out of the way. I thought I'd just pick my camera up, really, and have a little chat with you lot. So, first of all, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, um, give me a little subscribe. Um, and like I always say, if you're a regular, thank you for the support. Um, my videos are getting like 120 views plus, which seems very small, but to me, that's a lot of people. If you put all them people in front of you, it's a lot of people. So thank you, everyone that watches my videos, everyone that likes my videos and supports me because honestly, it does mean the world. Before I get into this video, subscribe, like, and share. I'm just gonna make a coffee and be all YouTube and show you me making the coffee and then we'll get into it. So um, enjoy this little uh, coffee bit and then we'll chat. Mum, if you're watching this, which you probably are, I'm just gonna show YouTube. Like, it's not good enough, is it, look? Pots and pans. I'm sorry for exposing your mum, but come on. You're better than this. Let's stick kettle on. God. It's Sunday, and on Sundays, I like to fast. Wait, let me, I can't do two things at once. Size of that. Yeah, swimming pool in there. So now I can finish off what I was saying because I couldn't do two things at once. So on Sundays I like to fast because on a Saturday I usually have something bad to eat um, on the Saturday night. So on the Sunday I will fast for about 16 hours just so I give my digestive system a rest and it can repair from last night's food. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I had steak, I had potatoes, which is not bad, but when I got home I had about three slices of cheesecake, it was absolutely unbelievable. So it is 20 past 11 now. I've stopped eating at about 10 o'clock last night. So I've got a few more hours to go yet. So I'll just have a black coffee because it's got zero calories in it. Also, I have a couple of drops of that in it. This has got zero. If you look at the back, it's got absolutely nothing in it. No sugar, no salt whatsoever. No carbs, no saturated fats. You get all sorts of flavors. I've got caramelized biscuit. I've had vanilla. I really want chai latte one. I do fancy that one. Let me just make this because you lot are distracting me. But yeah, I like to fast on Sundays. I do them. I do that most. Uh, do that most Sundays. I'm starving. Not gonna lie to you. I'm absolutely starving. Look at my cup. Dad. Um, don't worry. That's not happening. It's really not gonna happen. So yeah, one. Uh, one spoonful of the finest Colombian coffee on the market. It's not even Colombian, it's Costa Rican, but same thing. So, I thought I'd just do a video today because I've seen a, seen a few things this week on a Instagram and people being complaining, so I thought I'd just jump on the bandwagon. No, I'm not on the bandwagon, but I thought I'd put my uh, view across because the free world. Wait. Well, I can't do two things at once, you just realise that. Quite poor, really. See you in a minute, just wait there. I'm back. Lovely. What I've done this morning, um, I have already walked 10,700 steps already and it is 25 past 11. So I've got up this morning at eight, a little laying this morning, and then I went for an hour and a half walk, which was 10,000 steps, so I started walking because I was hungry and I wanted to get my mind off things. I just went out for a walk and ended up doing 10,000, so that's most of my steps done for today. But what I wanted to talk about today 
in this video is, first of all, I've had a bad week. Not a bad week, but I'm not gonna lie, I've had enough of this diet. 13 weeks I've been at it for now, and it is getting to a man. Like, it is doing my nutting. I've had the same food, right? Every single day, every single, every single? Every single day, sorry. The same grams for three months, even more than three months. And it's just, it's blowing me up a little bit, if I'm honest with you. So, I had a bit of a wobble. I've, I've nearly just slacked it off the other day, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have one more week here. That's 14 weeks, I'm gonna slack it off for a little bit. I'm still gonna eat healthy, obviously, but I'm just gonna, gonna do adjustments. I'm not gonna weigh my food out because it's just, what I've learned is, yeah, it's great having a good body and yeah, it's fine, it looks good, but I need to enjoy my life still, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna end up giving myself body problems. So yeah, I look good, I've lost the weight I've wanted to lose and I can just maintain it this now. So two days ago, my egg was gone, like, I just wanted to raid the cupboards and I wanted to go on the binge, which is not good. But I stopped myself because I thought, you know what, you've done 13 weeks, you might have to do one more week. So I've got one more week left of this and then, that's me done on this. So I think I've done pretty well if I'm honest with myself. Um, I've lost 15 pounds now, so over a stone. I don't want to lose any more weight because I really will look like a skeleton. So yeah, that's me done. Well, nearly done on the whole diet plan front. And I want to try and hold a little bit of the leanness and condition to put a bit of size on. So I'll probably do a little series on that. I don't want to put any more fat on, like obviously to put muscle on you've got to be in a surplus which is the opposite to a deficit so we will see we will see this is really good by the way but i thought i'd have to get it off my chest and moan about it on youtube not like you lot probably care but i need to speak to someone about it and the camera's here so yeah it's been a tough week and obviously as well well not obviously if you don't even know but my steps got put up to thirteen thousand a day which yeah, it's only three thousand more but when you've got to get that three thousand in like after 10,000, like it adds up over the, it's like another extra half an hour walk, which doesn't sound a lot, but after you had a full day at work, it's a lot. So yeah, I've had a tough week mentally, like in the gym. Like my sessions haven't been very good, I feel low on energy. I just think my body's been in a deficit that long, it's time. It's just time for a rest, time to let the body go back to homeostasis and just start again. So yeah, that's off my chest, but, the main thing I want to speak about in this video today is social media. So let me just sip on this quickly and give me two minutes. I'm back. Uh, I was just thinking before I move on to the next topic, um, what I've learned about food, which I think a lot of people probably don't understand, is portion sizes. Because obviously I've been weighing my food out, like it is just so easy to put extra on your plate and not realise. So it's definitely been a great learning curve for me with portion sizes and protein intake yeah i've just learned quite a lot so in that sense i've not just changed my body but i've also learned a lot about food like i've said before it's so easy to be overweight a sandwich from the shop can be like 400 calories and that's a lot and it doesn't really fill you up so i've definitely learned about food choices and what to eat and what's top what time to eat so it's definitely been a, a good uh, 12, 13 weeks because I've learned a lot, which is a bonus. Yeah, if you ever are thinking about going into some sort of meal plan and diet plan, like, let me just move you there. Um, I will do it personally. And you will learn a lot about yourself because some days are harder than others and it's discipline. All right, do you know what I mean? And for me, I've stayed disciplined and it just, it's improved other aspects of my life. So it's worked out really well, but, I've also learned that enjoy yourself and enjoy your life. Right? Don't be going out thinking, can I eat that? Do you know what I mean? You're alive once and I'm not gonna worry about worry about it. So yeah, um, that's that wrapped up I think. I don't think I've got anything else more to say. But um, I know a lot of people will struggle with food and a lot of people will struggle with weight. So as long as I think you get your steps in, because that's an, that's an energy output and be wary of portion sizes. And get your, get your veg in, get your veg and protein. A protein source and veg, that's what a very basic diet plan looks like, what I would say anyway and what I have learned. So yeah, if you want, want to know more about it and you want me to speak more about it, let me know in the comments and I feel like I've learned quite a lot and I can give some information out. So let me know 
what you lot want to see and I'll happily provide it for you lot. So let me get on to the next topic now. One more minute. Is that going to be straight or what? This chair's being squeaky. Oh, you know what? There's a shortage of actual working chairs in my house. Anyways, yes, let me talk about what I was going to talk about in this video. Someone I follow on YouTube and on Instagram called TM Cycles, um, he's a bodybuilder, but he knows a lot, he's clued up. He put a post out saying that he had a week off Instagram, took a complete week off Instagram because it just did his head in, he was fed up of it. He said, it gave him some clarity. In that week, he was a lot more productive, he got a lot more done, um, he wasn't checking his phone all the time for no reason whatsoever. And I did that last year. I got rid of Twitter, I got rid of Snapchat, I got rid of Facebook. The only thing I have now is Instagram, and that's purely for my YouTube channel and just for my fitness bits, really. So I only use uh, Instagram for that, but it made me realise how obsessed and addicted we are for social media and how much we kind of rely on it. And I think it's so wrong. He put a big post on Instagram and uh, I'll put it up now, I'll put the screenshot up. But if you wanna go read it, give it a read because it's really insightful. He did a video on YouTube as well. And he said that the first week, even when he got rid of Instagram, he would get his phone out and, and go to press Instagram. So that's just telling you how installed it is in our brains. And he said he would waste so much time just scrolling, looking at people he doesn't care about. And I think we all do that. I'm guilty of it, I'm not perfect. and. I can sit on my phone for 20, 25 minutes because that's how fast time can go and just be scrolling through my phone looking at things I don't care about. I probably follow people that I don't even like and I don't even want to know what they're up to and I think we are so sucked in by social media that we're not productive anymore, we're not productive people. Think what you can do in 20, 25 minutes, you can read for 20, 25 minutes instead, you can go for a walk, you can talk to people and I think we're so phone and social media obsessed. When you go out for a meal, we just look at look at the tables around you. Everyone's sat on the phone. It's not you're not sitting opposite each other. You're not talking. You're not socialising. Everyone's just sat on the phone. And we're all connected by social media. And you put it in perspective for me because last year I used to get rid of all my social media, even Instagram, from Monday to Friday. I used to go on at the weekends. And to be fair, you do get your phone out and you do go to press where the app was because that's how installed it is in our heads and I just think that's so wrong. We can't even go to the toilet without taking our phone with us and you just think social media's got such a hold on on us. It's, it's quite sad really and it breaks a lot of social interactions down because like I say, when you're out, you don't really speak, do you? Because you're just on your phone, you're checking your phone every five minutes. And what's really changing in that five minutes? Nothing's really changing, is it? You're just refreshing your page. And don't get me wrong, I'm not slagging social media off because social media can be such a good thing. I feel like a lot of people rely, depend on it way too much. Because after he put that um, story up and I watched his video on YouTube, I'm pointing to my TV, by the way, it's in the background, but you can't see it. Um, I did a poll on Instagram, shock. That's what I do. I said, could you last week about social media? And I'll put the results up now. A lot of people said yes, some people said no. And I just think the people that are saying no, or said no, I just think, really, like you couldn't have one week off social media. And I think it's the fear of missing out, that FOMO, that what they um, what they say, isn't it, FOMO. And I think I used to have that. I, I thought, oh, I, can't, I need social media because I need to see what people are up to. But I don't, like now I look back and I think, I don't, I don't give a, I don't give a monkeys what anyone's doing. Like, just because you haven't got social media doesn't mean you're missing out on anything. Social media is such a lie, and I've said this before in previous videos, but you can't go off social media. Like, everyone looks like they have the perfect life on social media. You only see everyone dressed in the best, looking the best. You don't see it when they're down or they're upset or they don't they want to stay in bed all day because they feel depressed. You don't see all that. And I think people need to remind themselves that even their favourite celebrities have bad days, they have tough days. So I think people need to put their phones down a little bit more. And I do as well. If you go and look at your screen time, mine's like four hours a day, which I don't think is too bad. But there's some people out there with nine or ten hours a day and that's so much time on your phone consuming your life. I just think that's crazy. So... Go on your Instagram or your settings or whatever and go and look at your screen time on Instagram and it will really wake you up and you'll realise 
Jesus, like, I spend a lot of time on these platforms. And you think, what can you do in that time? I don't know. I, don't, I might try a week off social media, all social media. I know I can do it because I've done it before and I only have Instagram anyway, like I say. But I think it's good. I think it's good if you can have some time away from social media. I'm going to burp. Burp. Pardon me. Burp. Pardon me. But I think it's good if you can have a week away from social media because why do you need it? What are you missing out on? If you follow me, if I put a story up, you know it's going to be a poll or the gym. So don't worry, because when you come back in a week, I'll still be putting the same stuff. I felt like I had to do this video because I just thought, you know what, everyone's so consumed. And I, I get it, I do get it. This is the day and age we're living in, and it's all very um, social media. But remember, there was a life before social media, like where people went out and spoke, and there was no phones, and there was no distractions. and like events, they would soak it in and music events, they'd just soak it in and wouldn't get the phone out and like I say, I'm not slagging social media off at all because without social media, I would not have learnt the knowledge that I have took on without certain people and what's that come through? That has come through social media so I'm not slagging it off in the slightest because it's helped me a lot and I've learnt so much off different platforms and I'd, I'd try and it's so black behind me, what the hell? Social media is not, it's not real, remember that. If you generally can't feel like, that even makes sense? I don't know. But if you generally can't come away from social media for a week, I won't say I'll have a look at yourself, but I'd look at the reason why can't you come off it. There's gonna be a reason why you can't come off it for one week. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. My opinion's not gonna be right all, all the time, but I felt like I had to do this video because I just want people to know that social media is not real. You can, it's very easy to, um, what, what's the word? Compare yourself to other people and that's why everyone's probably down in the dumps because you haven't got your life sorted by 21, you haven't got what they've got. But remember, they're gonna have their bad days. Yeah, I didn't wanna rant on too much. I've been speaking for about 10 minutes on this now. So I didn't wanna rant too much. I hope I've got my point across. I need a drink, my mouth dry. So, I'm gonna have to get some water. Mouth like Gandhi's flip flop. I need to show you lot this cheesecake I had last night, by the way. Oh my god. I had three slices, and I know it's bad, but I don't care because it's unbelievable. Cheesecake is up there with my favourite dessert, and this woman who lives. <clears throat> Why does my voice sound like that? This woman who lives in. Tattershaw makes homemade cheesecake, so let me just show you. Oh my Christ. Any chicken, by the way. Here we go, I'm getting excited. I can't have it today, because we're back to eating normally, but I had three slices, oh my God. Look at the state of it. I got like mixed pieces, so 20 quid, like, it was full, I had three slices. Oh my God. Cheesecake is, it's so simple, but it's just, it's, I can't even speak about it. I need to get this out of my face. Off you go. Kind of went off tangent there, didn't I? Got into a cheesecake. I'm on a squeaky chair again. So yeah, use social media in a positive way. Um, delete the people that you don't want to see. The negative energy draining people, get rid of them. Follow good people that are going to benefit you in your life, so. Yeah, that could be anyone, that could be motivational speakers, it could be a celebrity that motivates you, anyone, just use it as a positive tool. Um, don't get sucked into, I need this because such and such has got it. Don't look at it like that. So, so yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Just wanted to get my point across and help others because I know people can feel like social media overtakes their life and it shouldn't do. So use it in the correct way. I've got a lot of exciting things coming up. That hurt. Um, I've got a lot of exciting things coming up. I've got a lot of um, things coming up on the weekends. So I'm going to vlog it all. I'm going to film it all. And yeah, love it. So thank you for watching me. If you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button before the video ends. Like the video and put my notification bell on first because then you will be notified when I put a video on first. So do all of that. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.